John Mensah, the Black Star Captain, just tell us how important Ghana versus Nigeria is tonight. Well, it's going to be a tough game because Nigeria have a good team, but I know we're going to be there. Um, you've had a good season with Sunderland Football Club. Um, tell us about how your fitness is going into this contest. Well, actually, uh, like I said, I have a big, uh, good season in Sunderland. Um, Sunderland is a big team and they have a good manager. So I like a coach and the organizer, everything is well, everything is going well to me and um, unfortunately the matches that they want me to play for them couldn't happen but I, of course I, the match I played for them was successful. Um, just tell us, give us some context as to how important Ghana versus Nigeria is. Some people say it's like England against Germany. Would that be correct? Yeah, it's true. Uh, Nigeria have a good team, and Nigeria have a good team like 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 how we like how we are, how we, uh, what we have, and we all know that Ghana and Nigeria has become a big uh, football country in the world, on Africa and the world as well, and we have a good players. Nigeria have a good players as well. They have a, 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 a good team as well, but I believe uh, this friendly game is not going to be easy. Because uh, we have beat them before, and uh, they are coming. You know, football. In football, we learn from our mistakes. So I believe Nigeria was coming. They are coming to this game uh, uh, really, really focused and determined. But I believe at the end we we'll get victory. Now I'm going to ask you a bit about Sunderland because obviously very active in the transfer market at the moment. Um, they're bidding for Connor Wickham uh, from Ipswich. Uh, and it looks as though he might be coming. Can you tell us what you know about him? Again. <laughs> Sorry. I'm going to ask you about uh, Sunderland because it looks as though they're active in the transfer market. In fact, before I ask you about specific players, just tell us how important you feel it is for Sunderland to buy new players given that they had a bit of a, a difficult spell towards the second half of the season. Well, uh, in Sunderland, um, have a good team in management as well and um, they want the experience and they want to go move high and uh, as for my loan in San Juan is finished now and now I have to go back to Leon or other I will stay back to in English I don't know right now like for example we footballers we are, a bit, we are like a basic fight I can't decide right now but normally I'm still in San Juan, uh, Leon here so I'll Right, because that, that, actually that was you. I didn't realise that you, you, it was a loan spell that had ended. I thought that you were officially a Sunderland player. Yeah, actually, actually, I've been loaned for Sunderland. I've been loaned two years for Sunderland. Uh, that's the last, last first loan. Uh, when I finished the loan season, they said that my, you know, my impression was good for them, and they impressed them a lot, and uh, they want to keep me under the loan. After the World Cup 2010, we, we played in South Africa. Yeah. So uh, the team and the and my, my, my manager where I agreed that okay if I if I like to play for Sunland because Sunland make me feel happy like home I feel like home I feel mm -hmm. like you know uh, sometimes when I come up from injury when I'm injured they do entertain me and they make sure that I'm happy yeah. because the most important is the game I have to play it's not the danger because they know football injury is a part of football so sometimes when I got injured um, I feel you know a bit frustrated with, a bit nervous, a bit sad. So Sandra keep on motivate me, make me sure, make sure that uh, I'm happy. So anytime I come back, my fit, I do the best for the team. So when the season finished, they make sure they they said to me that they would like me to stay another one more year with them. That's African. Uh, that's uh, after the World Cup 2010. So I said okay, no problem. I would like to stay for them because the way they treat me there, I was excited. So now I finished one more year for them. So now I have, I have to go back to Lyon and we decide for the next, uh, next, next, next. Do you have any other offers to go to any other club uh, at the moment? Well, actually, according to my agent, he spoke to me uh, last two weeks ago that uh, there's a big, uh, there's a lot of crafts who wants me, like uh, uh, Rangers in Scotland and some other clubs wants me. Rangers, Rangers, and uh, in Scotland wants me, and some other crafts also wants me. But uh, now the negotiation still goes on between my agent and the clubs, and 
uh, as for me, he said I'm, I'm in holiday, so I have to stay focused on my holiday and enjoy my holiday. So any uh, good thing, good deal, which come, he will let me know. Then, but as of now, I'm still in some early on prayer. So. Does the thought of playing in the Champions League with Rangers appeal to you, or would, do you like the Premier League? Do you prefer playing in the Premier League? Oh uh, yeah. Uh, as for me, uh, uh, the question is difficult to respond. Like I said, also first, you know, football is really like a better fight. So, you know, I cannot say that I have to play here or I have to go there. It depends the clubs and it depends you player. It depends also the player how you feel for the team. But as for me, I spoke to my agent that he knows the best and he knows the fans and the and the, the city how it is. So he must go in and walk through on that situation and let me know whether I'm supposed to go there or. Just one other question. Um, as Samoa Jan, uh, lots of Samoa fans want to see him, but there's been talk that other clubs want to sign him. Uh, what do you think will happen with that squad? Well, um, Samoa Jan is a good player, but in terms of the situation, leaving the club, other clubs want him. As for that one, I cannot go into it because it depends on him and his agent. As for me, I'm not his agent, but normally it's a question. So, what I can say is that. I heard rumors from the con some teams who want him, like you said. But I think it's a good idea because Sunderland also want buy press and sell players also to gain money. So I think it could, could be a good idea. And if they can't sell him, I believe that they will want to keep him to 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 want him to help the team as well. Thanks. Thank you very much.